Hey, we are live! Hey, everybody! I am Eric Eisenbud, the Grateful Chef. That is who I am. Always grateful as always. Always, always as always. For all of you folks who jump in and watch the show on a regular basis, any sort of regular basis, every week, every other week. Catch it after the fact when it's posted on the Grateful Chef with Eric Eisenbud Facebook group or my own personal page. If we're personal friends or on YouTube, because I post them on YouTube, hopefully you guys are getting to see the recipes as they're posted on the group or on our website, eatingwithcheferic.com, is where you can find all our recipes, travel stuff, uh, stuff that I'm cooking, um, you know, just on a random basis. All my beautiful, delicious culinary content ends up there and in the group. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the little pop-up series playing in the kitchen with Chef Eric. Um, like this week, what did we do? We made authentic mole, and it was unbelievable. Fantastic. Um, it was one of those recipes that could take a long time. It's a lot of ingredients. But sometimes you do all that work, and the recipe is not worth it. The mole recipe is worth it. I'm going to make it again for sure. It's a... It's, it's a mind blower. It really is delicious. Um, so, yeah, so we are continuing and ending with our summer fair series because it's after Labor Day. No one's wearing white pants around here because you're not supposed to do that after Labor Day is what they tell me. We never wear white pants. Oh, yeah, we never wear white pants. Anyway, um, so, yeah, we are uh, continuing and closing out our summer fair series hope you guys had a great one we sure did uh real fun bringing all this stuff to you guys and doing it uh with you so um i want to say that of course if there's anybody new watching for the first time just say hello get to know you you can get to know us um hopefully you'll have a good time here tonight and you'll share this with your friends and family share the group get them to join up uh, like and subscribe my YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Um, so tonight we are doing a Spanish style garlic shrimp and in the oven now I have a slow cooked tomatoes, uh, they're cherry tomatoes actually with coriander seeds and rosemary. This was one of the recipes, this one on the bottom with the tomatoes. Sometimes, uh, you know, an ingredient is, um, is like fresh in the market or something. That'll inspire me. Sometimes someone will say, oh, you got to try this. And sometimes I will see a photograph of something and I have to make it. And that is exactly what happened with this tomato dish. I saw a photograph. I scoured around for it. I found the recipe. And it's really easy. It's really simple. It looks amazing. And I'm hoping that it tastes as good as it looks. Let me put this aside. We're going to get right to cooking. As always, there's several components of our dish tonight. Um, one of which is we are actually going to flavor oil that we are cooking our shrimp in. So here, let me just show you what I have here. I have these beautiful shrimp. These are like uh, 21, uh, 21, 25s. I peeled and deveined them, okay? But I held on to the shells because we're using those shells to flavor the oil that we're gonna cook the final dish in. So let's go right to the stove. We're gonna get these uh, shrimp shells going. And it only takes about 10 minutes, really easy to do. And we'll go over the ingredients over here. Here's Lenny. And we are waiting for our uh, in-studio guest who was running a little bit late, that would have been which hard. is totally okay. And uh, so she'll be coming in midstream. And Eric, awesome. Eric put his stuff in my spot. I put my stuff in her spot. Anyway, so you with me so far? Yeah, we've also got. Who is this Lynn anyway? Hi. Hey, Lynn is our camera woman, our producer, and the Women Beneath My Wings here each and every week with me. I don't know. How. Really? But uh, here, doing an amazing job. Get this on a nice uh, kind of low flame here. So here's what I have. I have all those shrimp shells. Can we just move on a couple of hellos before you move sure, on? Sure, let's do that. So we've got Producer, Stephanie. Yes, I see Mark Senate. Hello, Hello, Mark. 
of Sam Ensley's of Right On. Um, and a couple highs from hey, a couple Sam. of Daves. So Dave Levine as well as Dave. Hi, Dave. Layman. Dave Layman. Watched your Facebook Live. Had a little issue, but it's okay. Keep trying. They're awesome. Uh, people love them. At least my people do. Anyway, so we're going to get back to the ingredients. Now I just want to go watch his video. See what he the did that on his photography. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Dave Lehman is Seven Wishes Photography down in Tennessee. Tennessee? Tennessee. And uh, he does all sorts of great like wedding photos and school photos and oh, cool. photo photos. It's really cool. So that's uh, we worked together in a previous job, and now uh, he's doing his thing. Awesome. That's seven wishes. Um, so here we have the shrimp shells that I reserved from peeling the shrimp. You could use shrimp, head on shrimp and use the shrimp in this because that'll add just another layer of flavor. Really awesome. You could totally do that. Um, we are going to do some smashed garlic. Now, I had said in my little uh, teaser that there's 12 cloves of garlic in this recipe and that is true four of them are smashed four of them are sliced and then four of them are minced for three different components of the dish so we're going with the smashed garlic I'm we're, gonna, we're going close with the pinch of chili flake and of course our shrimp shells and our olive oil that we're going to flavor with these shrimp shells. So I am going to put the oil in first. Nice hot pan. I am going to put the garlic and the pepper flakes, already adding a level of flavor. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit, and I'm going to throw in our shrimp shells. So what we're doing is we're actually taking all the flavor out of these shrimp shells. Sometimes what I'll do, always what I'll do is if I'm peeling shrimp, I love cooking shrimp in the shell, but some recipes you, you don't want to do that, like this one. So I will actually reserve my shrimp shells and put them in the freezer and uh, just reserve them until I have enough to do something like this. Can you do this recipe without doing the shrimp shell thing? Um, you can use regular oil, um, however, you're gonna, it's going to lack in a certain level of flavor. It really makes a big difference here. And, you know, think about it in a restaurant, you know, there's lots of Spanish restaurants around here. Um, think about what they do, they, and the amount of shrimp that they go through. So they have at their disposal all these shrimp shells, and they make sure to use everything and not waste you know, waste anything. So they absolutely make this. All right, so we're going to let this just sit and simmer in here. And I'm going to ask Lynn to come back to the cutting board because we're going to now marinate our shrimp. So that's the next phase of this dish. The recipe will tell you to marinate the shrimp and then do the shrimp shell oil. But for this video, I wanted to use the time while this is cooking to do the quick marinade. All right. So before you move on, we've got Paul Florio. He said, you know, I'm here, and he loves shrimp. Hey, Paul. Dave, thanks. I'm glad you're safe in Florida, buddy. And uh, Dave, thank you. thanks for the shout-out. And nice. we also have Kevin with us tonight. All Hi, right, Kevin. Kevin. So before I do that, I talked about the smashed garlic for this phase with the shells. You've seen me do it before. So simple. You can do This one happens to be peeled. If it's not peeled, you can still smash it. The peel will come off real quick. And you just use the side of your knife and give it a nice little whack. And that's really what you want. You just want it cracked, just like that. I'm going to throw that one in there. So now we got five cloves of garlic. All right. So in my bowl, got a couple of things here. We also have Cheryl Lynn with us, and on, on Mark Sennett's phone, Max is watching. All right. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're going to take our shrimp, and we're going to put them in our bowl. Let's see. I'm going to count them because I want to know how many I have. 6, 8, 10, 12, 
14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 shrimp. All right. About a pound, pound and a quarter. That's uh, what was weighed out at the Asian market that I got them at. Did you count them for any reason? Just so, so I can, like, if, I wanna, if I'm serving a bunch of people, I want to know how many I have to put on each plate. Good. All right, so we have our shrimp. I am adding, this is an ounce and a half, or two ounces of good olive oil. You know, we have an olive tree, so I squeeze the olive oil out myself, so I know it's good. Yeah. All right, no, I don't. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so olive oil in here. This is four cloves of minced garlic. And when I have to do a lot, I'll use a microplane and just do it like that instead of work the knife. So this is going in. I'll say the microplane was the coolest thing because I've never thought of it before. This is an interesting ingredient, baking soda. You want baking soda. We're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon. That's going to help tenderize the shrimp. Also, it's going to help the shrimp to create a kind of a snap when you bite them. All right, so we're just mixing this up, and you're going to let this sit at room temperature. I want to make sure the garlic is well distributed. And that's pretty much basically uh, how we're marinating these shrimp. Olive oil, garlic, uh, tiny touch of baking soda. Awesome. And uh, we also have Jamie Parisi. Hello, Jamie. And... Poor Kevin, he's just recovering from food poisoning. Oh, sorry, Kev. Sorry to hear that, but I've been there, man. He had bad duck eggs. Oh, terrible. That sounds bad. All right, so these shrimp are going to marinate. You leave them at room temperature. I'm going to put them over here for when we get ready to cook. I'm going to turn this flame up a little bit because we want it to kind of bubble. You can see if you want to come back over here now, honey. Get out of your way. We have Jerry Dabney was too. Hello, Jerry. So you can see that the shrimp shells have turned pink. What you want. And I just want to smash them in. You know, those little tiny legs that you pull off, they all have like liquid in them. So you want to get all that liquid into the oil. And I can smell it. I mean, it's. It's intense. So this is if, if this these shells went into the trash, you really like you really um, can you put the other stuff on? You're really giving away a lot. No, I think these are out. I'll put it on by. So you want it to nice and pop. You don't want the garlic to burn, you do want it to brown a little bit. And Jerry said that you're making one of her favorites. Awesome. So, one of the things I'm serving with this meal is a that recipe with the tomatoes. So, I do have to stir it every so often. So, I'm going to go in and give it a quick stir. Can we come down? Can we come down and watch? You get a little sneak peek. I have it in a 350 degree oven. Ooh, wow, that smells good. So, I'm just going to toss the tomatoes around. I've got my own homegrown um, cherry tomatoes. I've got some that I bought at the store because I needed to get a little more quantity. And then I've got these little tiny yellow cherry tomatoes called sprinkles. All right, that's going back in. Isn't that tomato thing only have like five ingredients? Yeah, easy. All right, so this is beginning to brown, and I can see that that oil is awesome. I can smell it. So what I did was, and I'm going to add it right now, I had made a big batch of this oil using the shrimp with the heads on, the shells, and that oil turned really, really red. So I'm going to add that to this. So yours might not be as red unless you're using shrimp shells with the heads because you get all that good, the good juices that are in there. So I just wanted to get more oil because we're serving this with bread. What's better than that? Nice. Mmm. The smell is so toasty. 
and you can see that the shells are beginning to get toasty. Gorgeous. Yeah, so this process should take you about 10 minutes. It's, uh, it's not that long of a process, but it's an essential piece to this recipe. And okay, I'm also going to be serving this while we're over here with some yellow saffron rice. I uh, had some left over from mole day. All right, so right now what I'm looking at is the garlic. I want the garlic to cook. I do not want it to burn. So I'm looking for it to turn a nice golden brown. And once that is done, we're going to strain this oil out. Popping. All right. Ooh, popping. So Sandra de Pinto says it looks delish. Nice. Thank you, Sandra. We have a special guest coming tonight that you may know from Berkeley Heights. The one, the only, Gina Yanak, coming into the rest to the Grateful Chef Kitchen. All right, so this is done. It's spitting and popping. And what I'm going to do is I want to strain it in a fine mesh strainer. I want to try and get as much of the oil out as possible. So we're going to put all that garlic, all those shells in here. Sorry, you can't see it. You're probably yeah. looking at the back of the pan. Yeah. Mm, good. Okay, and I am using, of course, this pan to cook our shrimp. So. Fewer dishes later. Yeah. Wow, those got really toasty. You can hear it. They're That's crispy, so cool. crunchy. Just want to press on them to get as much of that oil out as possible. Now, after that, these can go into the trash. Gorgeous. Beautiful. So, Gina was Paul Corio's childhood neighbor. Uh-huh. And he also loved your baking soda trick. Thank you. All right. So, there we have our oil. This is going in the trash. And we're on with the next step. It's going really quick. All right, so let me get this little shell out of here. We don't want to eat that. All right. So the next step. It should be done before Gina gets here. So that oil. Going back in the pan. Look at that. Jerry said that uh, Dan said you're making him really hungry. Dan? Yep. Jerry Jones Dan. Awesome. Okay, so the next step. We put the oil back in the pan. We're going to do it over medium high heat. So I'm putting mine on medium because my stove runs really hot. We're going to add the sliced garlic. We're going to nice and slowly. Now that garlic is infusing this oil even further with more garlic. Look at that. So. You know, you want to, you got that, the, those bubbles are from the moisture in the garlic. So once those die down a little bit, we're going to get about, we're doing it a minute. Oh, I think our special guest has arrived. Awesome. All right, so you got this, babe? I, we, we, we come back? Sure. We're getting ready to throw our shrimp in here. That's going to be awesome. We're not going to throw them, just you know, a little splatter. Nice. Give our shrimp a little turn. Now remember that the shrimp, we can get a nice close up of that, that has all that garlic in there too. So you've got four cloves of sliced garlic, 
you've got the garlic from making the, the shrimp shell oil. And now, we are going to add even more garlic and even more shrimp. Oh, the mouse in the house. It is. Gina, you're not in the house. You know you're from Berkeley Heights. When? When you know Gina. When Gina's in the house. Hello. Oh, Florio's watching. Hi, Sandy Paul. Capinto's watching. Oh, nice. All watching. I'm All right. Waiting. So we've got our garlic toasting nicely browned now. We're throwing in the shrimp. Would you like some more there? Sure. These shrimp are shrimp, so they're going to cook really super fast. So I kind of want to just let them get into a nice single layer. Uh, nice. Gorgeous. Sherilyn says hello. All the fans of the Grateful Chef. All right, turning it up a little bit. And we're just so basically going to cook these shrimp until they're done, which is going to happen very quickly. They're already turning pink on the underside. You can see how quickly that happens. Remember, this is in oil, so it's going to cook pretty quickly. And I've told you about shrimp before, you know, so when your shrimp is like this, it's curled slightly, it's still a little bit raw. So you, once they curl like a really tight C, they're overcooked. So you just want to be very gentle with these shrimp. They cook really quick. Of course, I'd be vain these shrimp. Also, Gina and I, we're getting all the shout outs. Yeah. And Sabrina says, hey guys. Hey, Sabrina. All right. All right. This looks really good. So we're going to finish this dish with a little touch of sherry vinegar and some uh, parsley. And we're going to be like done in record time for a episode of cooking in the kitchen with Chef Eric here. My house smells like this every oh, night. My house smells God. delicious a lot. You are one lucky woman. <laughs> I really am. We're both keepers, so that makes it really work out pretty well. Oh, that's true. Anyway. All right. Gorgeous. So that is looking amazing. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add the sherry yeah. vinegar. This is like a teaspoon and a half. You don't want it to overpower. And this is two tablespoons of parsley that I got from my garden. And Rob No Prom has a question. What did I send him on Facebook Messenger? Nope, nope. <laughs> Does Uber Eats pick up from your location? Uh, I don't think hey, so. Robert? He lives in New Prague. Oh, okay. oh, dude, come on. Yeah, dude, dude, come on over. He's got an open invitation, you know. Just like Gina, an open invitation. I came, I made it. I posted a picture. Gina said, "Yum." I said, "See it open." Here she is. There I it's am. not rocket science, people. That's right. Doors open. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to turn the heat off of this because this is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. What? Hey Google. Oh, hey Google. How much time till the timer goes off? Alarm. It was an alarm. How about my alarm? Yeah, well, be that way. But it's, it's, it's time. It is time. Cause so I'm going to move this to the back. I want to check this tomato thing out because it was looking a little wet from the tomatoes juice and I may want to finish it on the stove top. Ooh, it's soupy. Ooh, that's looking awesome. I'm going to come down and walk that. I'm going to bring it up. You want to cook it down or you just want to scoop it out without the juice? Look at this. Oh, Check please. this out. Oh, my God. I'm going to bring this to a nice boil. I'm going to try and reduce it just a little bit. Ooh. Now, that's a boil, people. Oh, 
So we're going to serve this stuff. In this Spanish style, we're going to serve it like tapas, small plates, just like they do in Spain. Um, so we're going to put do one plate with some tomatoes. We're going to do the shrimp with on another plate. Awesome. So this tomato, interestingly enough, gets finished with a little bit of red wine vinegar. One tablespoon. Seems like a lot. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon and a half. Hey, Swapna. Swapna's with us. Look at this. Teaspoon and a half of red wine vinegar. And I'm going to measure. That's going to counterbalance the sweetness of the tomatoes. Nice. Oh. Lots of water. And Rob's asking what um, what are we doing next week? We don't know yet. <laughs> Seriously, Seriously, Rob. I think Eric decided on what he's making last night. Yeah. It was it was it was a slow process this week. It sure was. All right, so this will take a while to reduce. I'm gonna shut it off. We're gonna kinda of let it cool down a little bit and I'm gonna plate up. Some of these shrimp. Let's do that. Can I do that over here? Sure. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> or should, or do you, should we just do it on the corner, like we oh, said? Yeah, I forgot about my right. right here. No, you're perfect. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to move this to the corner, and we're going to serve it. Take some pictures. Bring it on top of it. That's why you're the producer. Yeah. More than half of them are from our garden. We've got a little rice. I was going to ask if uh, the uh, tomatoes came from your garden. Yeah. Well, I didn't have enough, believe it or not. So. I, uh, sorry, let me get my arm in the way. All right, I'm going to plate up some plates. Nice. Beautiful. Again, we got this yellow rice. The yellow rice, okay. Mm hmm. We put the lid on here. It's going to warm the bread up a little bit. What do you need, babe? I'm trying to take pictures. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just plate up one. So what I like to do is take a little bit of bread. A nice sourdough. This is how I like to serve these shrimp two pieces of bread on a plate. Shrimp, and a shrimp, and of course. So, Rob, Rob said it looks delicious, and he's actually mad he's not here right now. Mm. <laughs> you can only blame yourself. Is yeah. Paul still online, Gloria? Uh, I, I was wondering how he made out. He, I think he made out okay. He, showed, he was at the beach today. All right, so here we've got these awesome shrimp. I'm going to put a little bit of rice on the plate as well, because that sauce with the rice. Nice. A little more sauce. Woo! Look at that. Excellent. There we go. Awesome. So that's the shrimp. Now the tomatoes, I think I'm also going to use the rice on the tomatoes, because... I'm sure that juice is going to be just as just as good. And Heidi Bridget Knight said, I wasn't invited. With lots of tears. Oh, Heidi, come on. And, really? And Paul is still with us. And Sherilyn says, Gina, get your fork out. Your fork ready. It looks so good. <laughs> I'm getting my fork ready. So uh, Heidi, let's go. Oh, I, I got to go back to Heidi because... 
I need, if there's anyone in this world that's got that that my open door policy applies, it's you. So I know you're far away, but if you're ever in Jersey, so here we have our tomatoes. Again, we're serving it with the rice because why not? Looks really cool. Hmm. Who's R R T R Riders? Riders. Riders. Okay. Yes. He says, "Hey, I'm in Jersey. I should stop by." You should. All right, I'm tasting this. Eat. All right, the rice. Well, not the teats. And this, I left the little tails on so you can pick them up with your fingers, okay. you know. There's like garlic stuck to this. Now, was this the shrimp from your friend? Mm. Mm. The box of uh, fish? Super, no. super shrimpy flavor. Tons of garlic, but it's not like spicy, not offensive. It's really sweet and yummy. Everything you look for in a garlic shrimp. Would this be the same recipe you mm. would get like at the Portuguese restaurant? Very That's similar. That's why I call it Spanish style, okay. yeah. And of course, with all that oil soaked bread. It's his happy place. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. So give me a napkin. I got one. So in the posture of me not rambling on and on and on and on, like I always do, and end up having a 30-minute Facebook Live turned into a 50-minute. I am going to encourage everybody, once the recipe is up on, to make this recipe. A little bit of prep in the beginning, but it happens really quick, as you can see. It's really delicious. It'll, like, blow your family's minds eating this. And um, we are going to do a show next week. I don't know what it is. Um, after that... We will be not doing the show on Wednesday night for two weeks. We are traveling once again back to our beloved Barcelona. We're going to Bilbao, Spain, which is a northwest Spain we've never been to. And you know for sure that when we go to Spain, it makes for some awesome culinary content. We will try and do some uh, video, some stuff from there live, maybe not with this camera, but maybe with the iPad. And... Um, yeah, it's going to be great, and uh, hopefully we'll, you'll come along on the adventure with us. Um, so, that being said, be well, eat well, be nice, be <laughs> kind, That's right. love everybody, love the people who are around you, because it's really important, and um, we'll see you on the next episode of Cooking in the Kitchen with Chef Eric. Peace.